Welcome back to Firewatch. Summertime brings with it family, friends, and fun. But along with those get-togethers comes an increased risk of fire. In fact, in the months of May, June, July, and August, they account for 57% of all grill fires. So as we get together with our families, we thought we'd take a little bit of time here and look at grill safety. First of all, we're gonna take a look at propane grills. When you first use your propane grill, before you ever fire it up, you wanna make sure that there's nothing inside on the grill itself, that a wasp hadn't gotten in there and built a nest, or even that a bird, surprisingly, would have built a nest in there. You wanna make sure that it's clean in there, and before you use it, you wanna take a good grill brush and scrape away any residue. It's also a good idea when you first use your grill to clean it real good with, with soap and water to get off any built up grease or anything that might be on there from previous uses. Once you've established it, it's clean in there, then it's time to light it. You're probably gonna first have to turn on the gas because if you've stored it properly, you've turned the gas off after you used it last time. So you'll turn the gas on and then you'll come over to the lighters and light it safely. You'll follow the manufacturer's directions and do as it says to do to light the grill. Check to make sure that it's lit. And then you can close the lid to allow it to start to heat up. Just like when you're cooking in your kitchen, it's important to stay with the grill while you're cooking. And you wanna make sure that you use long handle kitchen implements that'll keep you a good safe distance away from the grill while you're using it. When you're finished using your grill for the day, before you push it back up against the side of your house or anything that might be combustible, you wanna make sure that it's cool to the touch. You don't wanna push it back up against the house if it might char the siding or even possibly melt vinyl siding. A lot of us choose to use charcoal grills and they too can be used safely as long as you follow a few basic safety rules with those. When you're using a charcoal grill, it's important to use a charcoal lighting chimney like this. You put the charcoal in it, then you can put some type of starter at the bottom. And if you're gonna use a lighter fluid, make sure you only use an approved charcoal lighter fluid. You don't wanna put any other type of flammable or combustible liquid on your charcoal to start it. And once the charcoal is lit, you don't wanna add any more to it. Once you get the charcoal going, it's gonna burn for a few minutes, and then you'll probably wanna use some type of a uh, oven mitt to pour the charcoal into the grill itself. And just like with the gas grill, you wanna make sure that the grill is clean so when you're using it, it doesn't flare up any more than it needs to. Just like when you're using the gas grill, you wanna make sure that you stay outside with a charcoal grill while you're using it. And also with the charcoal grill, before you push it back up against the house, you wanna make sure that it's cool to the touch. It's also a good idea to check the charcoal to make sure that it's cold and that it's out. You don't wanna leave any type of ember still glowing and go to bed. That could lead to a potential problem. It's also important to remember that if you live in an apartment, it is a fire code violation to store or use a propane grill on your balcony or deck. And it's a fire code violation to use a charcoal grill on your balcony or deck. We just discourage you from using that. Remember, if you follow these few basic safety procedures, you too can enjoy your grill all summer long. 